Thanks for joining us. St. Petersburg police are offering new details about the night officer David Crawford was murdered. Detectives say 16-year-old Nicholas Lindsay shot Crawford at close range at least four times as the officer approached him. Police say Crawford managed to return six shots, but none of them hit Lindsay. And today, Lindsay's father made a tearful apology for his son. On behalf of me, my son, and our entire family, we send our deepest concerns and sympathy to the family and his colleague that he worked with. It's not on this side, but I'm sorry that it happened. The teen's family was in court today for his first appearance. Lindsay will not face the possibility of execution. In 2005, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the death penalty is unconstitutional for anyone younger than 18. St. Petersburg Mayor Bill Foster says when he first saw Nicholas Lindsay's picture last night, it was a face he knew. The mayor was with the suspect just a few months ago in his family's home. Our Chris Martinez is at the St. Petersburg Police Department with more on that. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Wendy. Yeah, the mayor says he would have never described Nicholas Lindsay as a good kid, but he thought he had the potential to do good things. Now tonight, he says he couldn't have been more wrong. Cars moving. It's hard enough to understand how someone so young can be accused of something so awful. And it's even tougher to grasp for people who already knew Nicholas Lindsay. People like St. Pete's mayor. I don't know what happened to that kid that I saw eight months ago. Bill Foster first came to know the 16-year-old when he was making rounds with police, doing curfew checks on repeat juvenile offenders. And of all the kids he met that night, the mayor says this one was different. He impressed me the most. He had uh, support with the family. Um, he, he, he could articulate. He had a dreams, goals, visions. He had the most promise. What happened to set Lindsay on such a different path from then just isn't clear. But what detectives say they do know is Lindsay admitted to shooting officer David Crawford as many as four to five times. Police say the teen was breaking into a car when Crawford stopped to question him. And when the officer pulled out his notepad, they say Lindsay pulled out a gun. He purchased a firearm on the street about a week ago. He did not wish to let us know who he purchased that firearm from. But Lindsay's mom says her son did tell her how much he spent on that gun, $140. And after becoming suspicious of her own child, once the surveillance video was made public, Deneen Sweat says she and the boy's father convinced him to confess. I don't know. I have a problem with my child going to school. Love with this. Never this. Mm -hmm. Never this. It makes it harder, I think, knowing that um, we lost a kid, and we did. Um, but uh, he'll have to pay those consequences. And Mayor Foster told me today he did speak with Officer Crawford's family since that arrest. And he says as devastated as they are, they are, of course, relieved that there was an arrest made last night. And he is now hoping that arrest and also Lindsay's confession will help that family start to heal and really help everyone in this city do the same. For Life Tonight in St. Pete, I'm Chris Martinez, ABC Action News.